Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm on the mission to hit 100,000 subscribers before the end of 2025, and your support means everything. So don't be that person who watches but doesn't subscribe. Thanks for being here, and let's jump right in. Hello everybody, yes, with ya, and welcome back to another tutorial on the Twin Plays channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a new series. Is this gonna be the 99 Nights in the Forest series? Um, I know a lot of this game is pretty trending right now, so a lot of people are probably wondering how to make it. Now, um, this series wouldn't be brought to you if it wasn't for Altigo, so he's one of my helpers and one of my good friends, so he's on the Discord, and I'm gonna leave everything in the description, you guys. But moving forward with this video, um, if you're new to the channel, I do make a lot of tutorials and a lot of series going on right now. We also are doing the Steel of Brain Rot. Um, so there's a lot more tutorials coming in Grow a Garden and all those kind of things. So make sure to subscribe if you're new. And um, yeah, we're trying to get to 100,000. So your support means everything, you guys. Um, okay, so you're going to go in the description. Now, uh, everything is in the description just for like all my other videos. The main thing is a lot of the links are in the Discord. I will be leaving this uh, Google Drive link and everything to get this in the description. And we're going to be taking it like step by step. But um, to show you what I mean, uh, you can actually just go ahead and join my Discord. If you if you don't have Discord, don't worry. You'll still find a way to do this. But um, you just go to a label down here and there. Uh, just get verified and everything. But there's this, these kits right here. So we have the Girl Garden Cafe. And then now we have 99 Nights. Um, so you're going to click this right here. Okay, this is going to open a Google Drive. Um, if you don't have a Google account, you should definitely get one. Uh, but it should allow you to just open it either way. So feel free to do that. Um, but it's going to take you to uh, this right here. So we're going to be posting all of the parts in here. So I already have, I mean, tigo has been doing this. He's the one who made this. Part one is already in here. It's basically the lobby and teleport system. Now, if you're just watching this tutorial for a lobby and teleport system, this works as well. Okay, so inside, uh, there's this open thing. This talks about the full tutorial. Um, so feel free to open it up, and it's going to open you to this. Now, what's included in part one? So uh, Tigo made this. He has a welcome to UI, so it talks about welcome. Fully scripted leaderboards, a group teleportation system, and profile store. Um, and it also goes about, you know, setting it up. So we're going to actually look at exactly how he did it. And we're going to do it step by step. Okay, so, um, yeah, let's go and do this. So you're going to need to download both of these right here. So um, you can right-click and just click download, whatever's easier. I'm going to right-click this one and click download. Now, this is a Roblox uh, file, but this is like a place file. So there's normally uh, RBXM, which is a model. But RBXL is a place file, so you should actually just be able to quickly open this if you do have Roblox installed for Roblox Studio. Now, if you are on Roblox Studio Lite, I'm so sorry. This may not be the best tutorial for you guys because um, we aren't programming it from scratch and I don't have a model in Roblox yet. Um, if I do end up making a model, I will let you guys know. For now, this is going to be just uh, for Roblox Studio on the computer. Um, and maybe if you want to pause the video and look at what it thinks. So... I just opened up, um, let me just full screen out of this one. I just opened up place tutorial number one. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to set up this is place tutorial one. Okay, so this is the, yes, this is the lobby. Okay, so going with this, you're going to do a few things. Okay, so um, this is going to be the main lobby. So you can call this whatever you need to call it. So I guess for now I will do 99 nights um, forest and then we'll call it... Uh, I'm going to do game kit for now, but um, whatever, we can do that. So I'm just going to do that. Team create data sharing. You don't need to worry about all that. I'll just keep these off, but you're on there off. But um, if it's under group, make sure you change that as well. Should be good. Okay, so once we do that, uh, we're going to go to the part two step. So it's going to create this, publish it. Now, you're going to go into um, game settings, and then you're going to find open the places section. So... Um, Oh, yeah, you're going to have to do, there's another part of this, so I'll look through here. But actually, just make sure when you go through here, permissions, monetization, everything like this, security, um, you're going to want to turn on these things, which is good. Um, places. Okay, so there's this places right here. Now, in the places button, you're going to hit click the create button. Okay, we're going to hit create. It's so on a new place. You'll see the new place appear on the list. Click on the three dots and select. Um, okay, so oh, what did I just do? Uh, version one. Oh, yeah, version two. You're going to get configure place. Um, actually, yeah. Okay. And then the click three dots. And now you can change the name of the place wherever you like. Be sure to see if it changes. Okay. So uh, we'll just do new place. Okay. It's just like that. Um, so now we're going to click save. And you should be good. Okay. So we go here, places. And this is the new one. And then you have this one. Okay. 
So with this, then you're going to go over to the Roblox Curator Hub. So uh, I'm going to show you guys this real quick. Um, okay, so in here, uh, this is the create.roblox.com. Pretty simple. Uh, I'm just going to go and click this game right here. And you should be able to uh, see places, okay? So we have two places. Um, I'll click on the left of the you know, so we'll call it place two. Okay, so this is going to be um, ooh, created places. In places to see in your real life, we'll call it place two. Uh, click on place two. You can place that there. Okay, so I'm guessing. Let's just actually. Let's actually just call this place two. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to call this one place two. Um, so go back to places. Blah, blah, blah. We have the new game and we have place two. Okay, so on place two, you can set uh, the icon and everything like here. In the address bar, you need to copy a place that is the number of common places the URL. So uh, go in here, places, and then it's this ID right here. Um, so go ahead and grab this, okay? Once you get that, we're gonna go back to uh, the game that we're in. So just copy this number, you can go to the side. And we're gonna go into, um, let's see. So we're gonna go into server script service and teleport handler so in teleport handler there's this teleport place id i'm gonna put that right there okay so open your place to uh roblox file in, in roblox studio in the top left okay make sure my game selected from this one okay oh this is wait a second this is place two okay so this is actually place two so we're gonna do um swap it sorry guys Oh, well, let me one second. All right. Okay. We did that right. So yeah, this is to place two. So we want to teleport the player to the other place. So with that, um, so going back to your game, uh, I just want to make sure I have this right. Um, yeah, you should have these two places. This is the main game. And then place two is what we're going to just do right now. So open up the other file. So just the place two tutorial. And this one, you're going to publish to Roblox as in the file app and up there. And you're going to go right here and you're going to publish it to place two. So place two is where we're going to be overwriting. Okay, so overwriting this and it should upload. Um, um, okay, so yeah, this is going to be the part two, which he's going to talk about. Um, and we'll get that figured out soon. But for now, we're just setting up the teleportation and everything. Okay, so as you can tell, we teleported the player to the old one. Okay, now that setup is complete. Okay, so, um, all right, perfect. That works good. Now, um, this goes through the script and everything, so I'm not going to really go into that. But I want to let you know that uh, this does not work in studio. So if you're trying to teleport or any of that, it's not going to work in studio. You're going to have to test it with friends and on your main game. Um, okay, so uh, let's talk about the welcome GUI. It looks like he has the welcome GUI, I'm guessing, or uh, start a dry game place. Yeah, canvas, main, and then lower container. Okay, so I think this is dis uh, disabled, enabled. Let's see real quick. Um, okay, type your text. Yeah, so um, he kind of talks about that you can go inside. There are frames. Frame one each has a text label and image label. Um, swapping these on, you make your own lore your own. So basically it would look like this okay so going in between to talk about this you can do uh let's just open this up if you open up canvas make visible perfect you go to lower container we have one two three and four so into here you can type your image you can do your text now images you could just you know go down here to the image button and click add image and then text is the same thing so i would type right here i'd be like okay um i, I could just copy what it said on the thing so we're made of a uh Deer standing on two legs in an unnatural uh, way in the forest. Um, okay, sorry, I'm just talking to Tigo. Okay, so yeah, you would basically edit this how you want it to be. Add the images to whatever you want. Like I said, guys, it's all up to you. So, I mean, I could literally do anything um, and it would just work great. So um you can also and this is if you want to you can also ask ai to make these images for you um it's not a hard thing to do like uh, Tigo provides you with these or if you want to go in the games but you can actually just like 
you know, take screenshots of these and be like, ChatGPT, can you make me a image of this and this and that? And it will work. Um, so I'll go more into that later if you want, but you get the point. So once you're done with that, just make sure you close it all out. I mean, you don't need to close it out, but make sure this is uh, back to unvisible and you should be good. Now with the leaderboards, um, he talks about the leaderboards. So it talks about total nights survived, current login streak, total games played. And then um, he does configuration. So there's update real load duration and max players. So it should look like this in the end to updates, your stats, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> oh my gosh, sorry. So um, leaderboards, top days, I think if you go, let's see. Oh yeah, right here, configuration in here. Um, so if you want to update it, just keep it over 60. Don't do less than that because normally every minute is better to do that. Um, load duration, max players, you can do 100 or you can do less. Um, but yeah, so it's going to show up and look like this. Um, and then going to that, then we have the group teleportation system. So if you want to um, easily teleport your entire party to a new place um, to customize the system and values. So path, workspace, number of values, the time and uh, UI settings. And uh, okay, so group teleport is another place. Okay, teleport the ID of the place, bad active color, occupied when emptied, and this. Okay, so he okay, so he's talking about the the ways if you do want to change like some of the colors of stuff. So like there's certain things you have already. So active colors. So if we were to go into um as you can tell we have these pads so um if you want to change the way the pads look feel free to but you do have to know that they will be changed either way and i'll show you guys in the game how to test it um so like there's colors right here so idle color teleport color so you can change these colors right here um you can actually just click this button and change it just like that um so that should be a very simple thing to do and then, yeah, these are all the text. So when it comes to the text, I wouldn't recommend changing it. But if you want to change the labels, like you see how these labels are a certain text label and they look different, um, you can just go and change these the way they are if you want, like the fonts, whatever whatever you like, you can do. Um, so don't, don't feel like whatever. Um, it's fully customizable. But yeah, so this, oh, that's cool to you. You got your own base play. I didn't even notice that. Um, so you do have your own thing right here. And then, of course, when it comes to making the game in the lobby and everything like that, we can go ahead and uh, do that. But yeah, so for now, this is just what these are. And um, it's pretty simple stuff with this. Um, but yeah, so once you do that, uh, we'll just publish this. Make sure it's published, of course. Um, and then profile store, same thing. Um, so he kind of talks about if you want to change the existing leader stats. Uh, you can find all scripts and search up total days, replace instance with your new name. Um, it's up and then ensure that every script reference stat is up, updated correctly. Um, adding new leader sets. And then, yeah, if you guys want to like change them. Yeah. So you just like what he means by that. If you want to change it to total this, total that, you can go ahead and do that. Um, new leader stats, same thing. Server script service, find the profile template and then add your new stat. Um, so if you were to go into, uh, let's see, server script main handler. And then profile template right here. So these are the stats. You can go ahead and add more stuff into here. Um, and then also he leaves the documentation for profile store. So I, you don't really need to touch anything. That's all you have to set up first because in the next video, we go over everything else. So, I mean, if I wanted to, I could actually just show you guys. Um, let's see. Where can I get this on? And then, yeah, you should be able to access it. Uh, there shouldn't be any restraints. And then, sorry guys, I'm trying to find. Da, 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 da. Okay, so. Oh my gosh, I hate it when it doesn't play this. Okay, Roblox. Yeah, okay, so I have the game kit right here. Um, and then if I were to play it, so we have place one and place two. So just remember, this is going to be the part two when it talks about everything. Um, so you don't need to worry about that. But as you can tell, you spawn in, you have your lore or whatever. So um, this goes and you click play. Current login streak right here, and then total survived nights, um, and then total games played. So it'll look just like this. Um, basically, you know, kind of simple in that point of forward. Um, and then, yeah, so basically you're going to step on it. So join to create, ready. And once I step on it, it's going to give you the party size. So, I mean, as much as a party size as you want, I'm just going to do one. And I'll hit create, okay? Once I hit create, it has the, you're stuck, you can't leave it, basically. Um... And then it just does the system of the TP. Okay, so with the TP, it's going to do that. And then it should do the teleporting and it should teleport me. Yeah. There you go. So part two. 
now we have part two and this is where we're going to move into the next video which we will talk about later um but i hope you guys do enjoy did enjoy this tutorial if you did please give me a like comment and subscribe <laughs> um but either way everything will be in the description and thank you tigo he's the guy and he's the one who's been doing this so um give him a props up and go talk to him in the discord as well and he's definitely able for work if you ever want to hire him <laughs> but um yeah you guys i'll see you in the next video Bye bye